Just now we have derived the formula for stress due to gradually applied load. Now there is a second type of load which is known as a suddenly applied load. And we are finding out the formula for stress due to suddenly applied load. So if you see, actually again x axis, y axis. On x, I am going, I am considering the deformation delta L and on y axis there is a load P. Now I will say this P is nothing but suddenly applied load. In the previous case it was gradually applied load. Now in this case it is a suddenly applied load. So due to sudden application of load there is a sudden deformation. So the stress strength curve will not be a linear one or I will say load deformation will not be a linear one as it was spread there in the previous case. So here due to sudden application of load there is a sudden deformation. So diagram will be like this. So now I will introduce some terms that is already we have discussed. P is equal to suddenly applied load. Sigma is nothing but stress induced in the body due to suddenly applied load. And delta is deformation of the body due to suddenly applied load. Now, same governing equation which we have used as far as the case of gradually applied load is concerned. Now, I use the same equation that is nothing but SE, SE means strain energy is equal to WD which work done. Strain energy is equal to work done and work done is equal to area under the So, okay. I will write for strain energy capital U is equal to area under the curve, so this is equal to area under the curve. Actually, it is a rectangle, so I will take for finding out the area, multiplication of two sides, adjacent sides. So, P into delta U is equal to P into delta L. So, U, U is a thing strain energy. The formula for that is sigma square into V divided by 2E that is equal to area under the curve that is P into delta L. So, sigma square upon 2E volume can be written as product of area into length that is equal to P and delta L I can write it as sigma L upon E Right. Sigma L upon E. Someone may write P L upon A and P by A can be taken as sigma, so I will sigma L upon I will see some of the terms which may get cancelled. Sigma sigma length L L in Young's mode is it will get cancelled. I will see what is the remaining terms. On the left hand side, it is sigma by 2 into A is equal to so if I will rearrange it, then sigma is equal to 2P divided by. So here sigma is nothing but stress. In a body, when it is subjected to suddenly applied load, so sigma is equal to 2p divided by a. p is nothing but suddenly applied load and a is nothing but area of the body. So, as far as the case of suddenly applied load is concerned, the formula for stress will be sigma is equal to 2p divided by a. In case of suddenly applied load, the value of stress is 2p by and we have seen in the first derivation in case of gradually applied load the stress the value of stress is p by a means I can say that in case of suddenly applied load the value of stress is get doubled or the value of stress is twice as compared to the value of stress when the load is gradually applied means intensity of stress is more in case of suddenly applied load.